What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to The Division 2. We finally know the release date for Title Update 3. That will be next week. So that's some big news for all of you Division fans out there. Um, this kind of information kind of came from the uh, state of the game that was released today. If you have not seen that, I'll try to remember to link it down in the description below. You can watch over it for yourself. They talked about a lot of different things. I'm going to kind of hit on the high points of the episode. Of course, Title Update 3 being released next week was the biggest news out of all of this. The other thing that I thought uh, that was kind of interesting is the PTS will be shut down tomorrow, the PTS on PC. They said they pretty much got all the information that they need from it. Uh, they're going to shut it down, and all of this stuff is going to be coming with the next week's update. It's kind of odd to me that you have a PTS that you shut down. I figured that would be left up permanently. That way, they could test things in the future instead of having to put it back online, take it off, whatever. But it will be taken down tomorrow in just the regular scheduled maintenance. But next week, like I said, we will be getting the big downloadable update of Title Update 3. They said the raid will not be released on that day. The raid will be released shortly after that. So stay tuned to all of your sources for the Division 2 news to know what day that's going to come out exactly. They said they want to make sure everybody is caught up to where they need to be gear-wise before that raid is released. So surely by the end of... I would say like maybe next weekend, surely that will be released, hopefully. They said no gear uh, score increase with Title Update 3. They felt that people are, are kind of, the community was kind of getting frustrated with having to collect gear a couple weeks to a month, collect all new gear, a couple weeks to a month, collect new gear again. They were trying to avoid uh, burnout on having to just go out and farm the same things over and over again. So they said there's going to be no gear score update uh with or no gear score increase with this update they said the older original gear sets that we did get back uh you know when we went to world tier five that they are a little bit underwhelming they will be getting some upgrades to become a stronger set option they said the uh dz is still going to be a good source for 500 gear but that whole you know kind of dilemma that they kind of fixed back uh, a few weeks back where the 515 gear was going to be dropping in the DZ. That's no longer a thing, but they said you will be able to get a, a good amount, a good quality amount of 500 gear. Also, heroic bounties, uh, heroics uh, missions, bounties, tier 4 uh, bosses for like your you know areas that you do clear will be a guaranteed 500 gear if you are 500. Now, I'm not sure that that is the best way to do this. I understand the reasoning, but I mean, I guess it makes heroic missions a little bit more viable to do now because before they were hard, but pointless in my opinion, the bounties aren't so bad. So if you're 500, you are going to get that gear. I guess they're not wanting people that are really low level, you know, below like 400 going in and be able to get 500 gear automatically. But it would be nice if some 500 gear would drop, even though that you're not quite 500 just yet. And also the uh, the tier four bosses, I'm not sure if I, I'm sold on doing a a tier four control point. It is a little tedious to me and kind of frustrating. It's not my favorite thing to do, especially solo with a group. Maybe a little bit better, but I guess guaranteed 500 gear for that if you are 500 is not that bad. So at least they're looking at options for PVE and PVP. But I mean, personally, most people that I know that play this game. Yes, there are some that play in the Dark Zone, but most people are out farming in the PvE world because they're not a big fan of the Dark Zone kind of as a whole. But hopefully, this will give us some things to look forward to. Hopefully, this you know new kind of title update will, will bring us some new and exciting things. I mean, I kind of was disappointed that no gear score increase. I do see the reason because everybody's kind of tired of having to grind gear out and replace it over and over. But at the same time, the video I made a few days back kind of talking about are people getting bored with the division. I'm hoping that this raid will be able to keep people's interest long enough considering that that's all you're going to be able to do pretty much to get new gear is kind of do that raid and get that raid gear set kind of, you know, whole thing uh, is what you're going to be wanting to do if you're farming that. But if you're not playing the raid, you don't have friends to play with, I'm not sure exactly what you're going to be farming. You'll kind of be in the same situation that you're in right now. So hopefully they will come out with some things for people that may not be able to play the raid all the time or have the ability to. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this kind of, you know, all this news that we're getting with the Division 2. I hope you're looking forward to the title update 3 next week. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.